one thing that no one has gotten to, and Mattis had mentioned this in the soundbite, where he said, you know, could we not have taken it down sooner? His, I'm reading his quote, NORAD, North American Air Defense, has got a lot of Canadian fighters, the Alaskan, the Alaska-based U.S. fighters out there intercepting Russian planes routinely up over the Bering Strait. Now, it was going, uh, granted, the Bering Strait's north of the Aleutian Islands, but at some point, it, I mean, I think it's pretty much assumed that this device was in Russian airspace for a bit of time. I wonder if they were aware. I mean, I asked that rhetorically. Nobody's discussed that. I just think it's, I find that fascinating. Now, apparently the president during the State of the Union address tonight is going to, now the way they said it was briefly, he's going to briefly touch on this. And then he's going to go back to the economy's great and you're all racist. So, uh, and oh, an abortion, abortion, abortion. Don't forget that. But, oh, and, and oh, one last thing, insurrection. So insurrection, abortion, you're all racist. The economy's great. Those are going to be the, those are going to be the hot points, the four hot points. Briefly touch on this incursion into our airspace and what that means for our very tense relationship already with China. We shall see. He's going to briefly mention it. That's all I know. Briefly mention it. There's a, we just have like bits and pieces of what he's probably, and of course, like I said, you can also look at the first lady's guest box, everyone that they're inviting and pretty much figure out who's going to be there and who isn't. A couple of other things. Let's look more uh, locally here. Well, locally, domestically. Let's look at Florida. So the whole Disney Reedy Creek board, you guys know this whole thing. This was the, the battle with Disney. Disney had enjoyed certain corporate exemptions that other businesses did not enjoy. And it was very much not equal. And the DeSantis administration and the Florida state legislature have, are, have changed that. So I saw this. I'm going to pull this story up. So there, that Reedy Creek Improvement District is going to be uh, Florida legislature. They proposed a bill. It's going to, for now, give DeSantis control of the Reedy Creek Improvement District. Of course, he's going to have like a board that's doing this. And this has been a huge battle for some time. It's this five-member board that oversees 40 square miles of Florida, which is where the resort is. There's been a lot of, I think, because I was reading what all this is going to entail. And there's all these benefits that the Reedy Creek, that that, that whole arrangement have given to Disney um, for quite some time. And the new rules that are in the bill that was proposed by the state legislature on Monday, they do not allow anyone who is with Walt Disney Company to actually be on the board. So it's not a self-serving thing. I can't believe that was a new rule that actually had to be proposed. That's wild to me. It's absolutely wild to me. But there's been a lot of, because the way that the, a lot of debate on this, the way that the left tries to position this is that um, he's, he's either taking over, this is the way that the fight is going, is that either DeSantis is actually physically taking over a company, which is inaccurate, uh, that he is banning Disney, which is inaccurate. And then I also see some of the Republican political operatives out there throwing punches and saying, oh, woke Disney won. Big loss for actual conservatives. Because they get to, Disney's going to keep their tax-free, regulation-free status. They just get a different board. That's not even remotely at all accurate either. It. Disney will no longer, permanently, will no longer have a governing status at all. The state can impose taxes on Disney for road projects outside of the district's boundaries. It's going to be a state-controlled, legislature-controlled, term-limited board, and the governor appoints the members on, and it's a board that is looking at Disney and its property. They can't use and abuse eminent domain to get more land. They, I mean, all of that, they have to contribute to local infrastructure. It creates an apparatus that allows them to do that. Uh, and all of this, and they, they have to pay the $700 million in unsecured debt as well. That's not going to be something that's going to be kicked over to taxpayers. So I'm not, there's so much misinformation and people who actually don't understand, uh, don't understand a lot of local and municipal issues, um, particularly on the left, that this is, it's ending the special treatment that they're receiving. I mean, it's actually the opposite of cronyism. Mm-hmm. 